Hi everyone, Beth here from Induction Innovations, and today I'm here to talk to you about how to properly secure your coils into your mini doctor unit. First, let's start off by talking about the Mini Ductor 2, or the MD700. You want to open the screws up to make sure that there's an opening for the coil to fit into. Next, insert your coil into place and make sure it's all the way in. Once you are met with resistance, you know the coil is in place. Lastly, you'll want to tighten the screws to secure the coil. It's important that you tighten the screws at the same time so equal pressure is pushing on the coil leads inside the unit. Now that your coil is secure, you're ready to go. Remember, after each use, make sure that the screws are still tight. Let's jump on over to the Venom and the HP now. As you can see, both have the twist locking technology, but for this demonstration, let's use the HP. Before inserting your coil, make sure that the twist lock is in the unlocked position. Then simply insert your coil into the designated holes. Once you've made sure the coils are all the way in, twist the collar until you hear the click. With all the units we just covered, it's important to remember that you never pull the coil out when it's in the lock position. Release the coil by either loosening the screws or rotating the twist lock before removing the coil. And that's your quick tip for this Tuesday. Make sure to turn in next week.